Oj, oj. Oj, oj. Det var min plånbok det där. Oj, oj. Oj, oj, vad jobbigt. Hi, I'm Ola England and today I'm trying out Axiom. And before you neglect this video and go watch some clickbait shit ass video over here, stop. Don't leave because this shit is amazing. This is the stuff that really gets me going. So, hear me out, okay? When Blue Cat sent me Axiom, I was like, cool, another plugin for guitar players. Yay, good times. Made me moderately excited. But now that I've been using it for a while, and I must say, this is probably the next step when it comes to linking guitar players and computer for more than just for home recording. Now, why, you ask? Well, Axiom is a full guitar amplifier and effects modeler plugin with its own amplifiers and effects that sound awesome and you can basically build as complex and insane presets that you want to the point where your computer processing power is lacking. The amplifier section alone is just filled <laughs> with so many options and combos where you set a desired preamp with its own power amp and whatever IR you want to use and so on. I mean, there's just so many different options to choose from, it's insane. And same goes for the effects, I mean, it has everything you would need if you're a guitar player. And all of this is MIDI controllable, so the Axiom will work as a great rig option for playing live, for instance. And right now I'm using a MIDI board right here with an expression pedal on it that I'm using together with the Axiom. Now you're saying, I've heard this before and there are other plugins like this. Oh, it's because I haven't told you about the best part about Axiom. It loads third-party plugins. Yes, you heard me right. Fine, you have kick-ass amps and effects in the app itself. But say you want to use your favorite Ford and Amplifier plugin or, you know, the Super Amazing Logic Pro X reverb in your rig, you can load them into this app. And you have an easy, maintainable and controllable setup with all your favorite plugins. So the Axiom is basically a plugin loader or like a motherboard of all your favorite plugin and making it with a really simple layout like this. So it's just easily manageable. Okay, so here's the layout of the whole plugin. Uh, we have the input section right here, and you can see it has four different slots here that you can, you know, you can just do whatever. You have a tuner, and uh, you can put in a, a pre-noise gate, or whatever you want. If you want, you can even put in superior drummer. I, you know, it doesn't matter. The sky's the limit. And then you have the master section, which is the end section after everything. And here you might want to put a limiter or something like that to just limit everything and li limit all the presets. And as you can see here, you have these lock functions and uh, these are to lock the input or the master section. You can have it on the post EQ section and the pre-FX as well. But basically you're locking that section, so whenever you change a preset, the master section stays the same or the input section stays the same. So it's very tweakable in that sense. Or if you want to, you can have a preset that has its own mastering chain or whatever. Here in the center we have the pre-FX and the post-FX, and here is the amp section. And I mean, there's just so many amps to choose from, it's insane. And there's also a setup A and a setup B section. So you can basically have two different setups going at the same time. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this later. Okay, let's try and make something here. Okay, let's try and make a preset. Okay, guitar, insane, high gain. Thank you. Uh, triple, triple. <laughs> Okay, so here's the amp section. If you want to 
dwell deeper into this, you click here and you can set the different type of preamp you want, what type of amp you want and a post filter, I mean a cabinet or impulse response or whatnot you want to use. So the possibilities are just endless when it comes to this, but let's make a really kick-ass preset using my favorite plugins. So let's just start. Let's put a uh, load in. Okay, Fortin NTS. And basically it loads up the plugin window just like it would in a DAW like Logic or Pro Tools. So Great. Okay, let's just add a, a wapel or something. Let's see. Wapel. Great. Okay, so <laughs> obviously you're not going to use the wapel like this. You're dragging your little mouse here back and forth, but. This is what's so cool. Now, if I want to use my expression pedal that I have down here with the MIDI, what I do, I click here and on the expression here in the plugin, I can click, choose MIDI Learn, and I just go up and down with the expression pedal. And basically, now I can use my expression pedal to control it. There's a couple of different. Uh, Walmalls here as well to choose from. <laughs> a couple. There's like a hundred of them, I guess. Oh, pitchy. Let's try this. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I think this sounds awesome. Let me put on my favorite limiter on this. So I just load up the Fab Filter Pro L that I love so much. I can push this. And basically I can have the same mastering chain and settings that I have in my Logic projects or for my album for instance and use them in the Axiom and control it with a MIDI pedal. It's, ah, uh, it's just, ah! Uh. Then I have a lead. Okay, so I made three different sounds here. I have one distorted tone. And one clean tone. And one lead tone. Pay attention now when I'm switching between my rhythm and my lead preset. You can see the changes I made in the Fortin NTS plugin. And the switching is seamless, which I really like. So basically, I can have different instances of and different settings on the Fortin NTS in different presets. And so, it's so fucking cool. Now, the absolute most coolest thing that I personally like about this app is the setup A and setup B feature. Fine, you have presets like I showed you, but say for live, if you have one song that only has two types of sounds in it, you can set the first one being the setup A and the second one being in the setup B. So for instance, in setup A, I have this clean, very nice tone. And then in setup B, I have more of a crunchy tone. Mm -hmm. 
now with the expression pal, I've set this preset up so my expression pal switches between the both two, so I can blend them. So look at this now. So with the expression pedal, I can merge these two sounds back and forth. That is fantastic. Axiom has so much other stuff as well built into it. You have all the effects you would ever need for guitar. You have a wide array of amplifiers and different amp models. You even have presets to sound like the legends. Santana, Eric... I can't find my name in here. Okay, you have a tool called ReGuitar. Where is it? There it is. Which is a tool to make your guitar sound like another guitar and pickup combo. So I can have my humbucker guitar here sound more like a single coil pickup. Okay, let's shut it off. Now it's on. So in effects you can also add another axiom. So you could actually load in Axiom in the plugin and have it inside the Axiom. Now that's some serious inception right there. Now the Axiom plugin is solving the last couple of hurdles that I had with using a computer live. It just makes everything really simple to use and after making this video I'm going to try and build up a live version of my rig for when I play live with the Haunted and see if that's going to work. And uh, if all goes well, this might be my future setup for an easy fly-in rig. The Axiom is truly a kick-ass plugin and even though yes, you can do all of this in Logic Pro X and Pro Tools and Cubase or whatever DAW you're using, but what makes it so awesome is just the simplicity to add MIDI changes and controlling and overall just make everything simple. And it actually feels like I've only kind of, you know, scratched the surface when it comes to this plugin. So, yeah. I'm actually really excited to work more with this. If you want to know more about Axiom, go check out bluecataudio.com. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and suck my c